Hello, we're at the Dolls House Emporium shop in Ripley today and we've brought in this extra special Grosvenor Hall and basement. We've created this special model for Harrods so that they can have it in a concealed display case so it's all safely tucked away and can't be damaged. Um, but without having to open and close the door, their customers can walk all the way around it and they can see the front of the house with all the external detail and then walk around to the back which is open and then they can see inside and enjoy all of the rooms. For stability, we have to build the house with the back panel as normal. So the first thing you'll notice is that the windows have been blanked off in some cases. That's because obviously if you're putting the front panels on top of the back, you're going to see through the windows. So what we've done is we've blanked off the top two and that's so that we can dress the bedrooms onto the back wall to get a nice display. And then down the central column, that's where the stairs are. And because we've turned the stairs round to face the other way, we've got the half landings coming up and if we hadn't blanked these off you'd have half a stairs coming across the window. So that's the first and probably the biggest difference on this special house for Harrods. Um, you'll probably be thinking if you've lit a doll's house yourself, where's the wiring gone? Because normally that would go um, with a copper, a copper tape circuit around the back of the house. Um, what Sue has had to do is do it on the original back of the house, which was behind this, and then she's cloaked it with the front panels. Um, you'll also see when we turn the house around and go inside that we've got lights on the side walls, which she's had to chase into the walls and run to the back wall, just like you would do in a real life house. So she's uh, sort of chopped in to the walls with a craft knife so that she could bury the wires behind the wallpapers. Inside the house you'll see that it's done to a very high specification, um, it's got lots of luxury wallpapers and flooring and we've also put extra lights in so that it's got a bit of extra sparkle. When we're dressing for Harrods the brief is uh, luxury, no expense spared, it's the best of the best. So now we're going to take this house back to the dressing area and hopefully we'll see you there soon and you can see how we're getting on with dressing it.